Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful sunny day. We just had some rain. And I took some um, shortcut beef ribs out of the freezer last night, about three pounds. And I put them in my fridge. And this morning, they were like three-fourths of the way thawed. So I put my Dutch oven on. I don't know if you can see this. And I put the ribs in, okay, with no oil. I just trimmed off as much fat as I could off these beef short ribs. And I sprinkled a little pepper, a little oregano, and a little thyme. And what I'm doing right now is I'm braising them. And so once they're, you know, browned all every side, I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to take, like, only all the fat out the liquid, the fat, um, and only leave like a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna put in, let me show you this. I'm gonna put in about, I'd say, two big carrots chopped up. I gotta chop up this other odd onion. So you're gonna need like two cups of onion. And you're gonna need about, I would say that's a nice two tablespoons or a tablespoon of chopped garlic. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put those in with that tablespoon of um, fat, liquid, from the beef short ribs. And we're gonna cook these until, you know, they're like, almost like, I'd say a good seven minutes on a medium heat, medium low heat. And then what we'll do is, <clears throat> we'll add back the beef ribs and we'll add some beef broth and we'll let that cook. What I want to do is I want to get these short ribs where once it's about an, hour, about an hour and a half, we'll cook it in with the vegetables and the beef broth. And hopefully they'll be so tender that the meat will fall off the bone. And then what we can do is we can make some rice or you can make mashed potatoes and you know, you just pour it over there. All right. Okay, I'm going to take the lid off, the Dutch oven, and I shut the heat off because now we're going to take the short ribs out of the Dutch oven because we want to get rid of all that fat from the short ribs that is now liquid so we can put our vegetables in. So do you see how nice these are? Look at those. Those are, they're almost falling off the bone now. So let's get the last one out. And I don't know if you can see, but look at all, whoa, let me just get a hot mat. Woo, that was hot. But see all this liquid? I gotta take all of that out except one tablespoon. So we'll be back when we're ready to throw our carrots, onions, and our garlic in. All right, so I cut the garlic, um, the top off, so now they're separate, but they still need to be peeled. And I don't know about you, but I don't like peeling garlic, so I use this tenderizer on the flat side, and I just hit, whoops, sometimes they go places, but I hit it, it's hard to, all right, you hit it, and then it, you just pick it up. I'm trying to do this one-handed. This isn't working out. I should have my camera. Let me see if I can, okay, there, there it is. Okay, so see, the peel just comes right off. There's the peel. So that's what you want to use. You use, want to use a knife, you want to use your hand, or use, I think this is the best way to get the peel off the garlic. So here is all the, all the drippings except one tablespoon. There must be four to five tablespoons of um, liquid fat that we got out of those short cut beef ribs. So I left the garlic whole because they're small pieces. And so we have the carrots, we have the onions. So now let's just get those in there Let's see if I can do this one-handed. All right. We gotta do this strategically. 
trying to get that in the pan. All right, let's go to see if we can get those carrots. Whoa, a little spillage on the side, but not too bad. Let's see. We had a little bit. Look, little onions on the side. We'll get them. We'll get them in the pan. Don't worry, they're not going to escape. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the heat up to a medium, a medium. And we're going to get the rest of these carrots and onions in. There we go. All right, so those are in the pot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and stir, because we have all that seasoning at the bottom. I might even put this on a medium low. Yeah, I think I'm going to lure this a little bit. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sprinkle, a sprinkle of the oregano, a sprinkle of the thyme, the same spices that I used in the beginning, and pepper. And I'm not going to put a little salt. I like people to add their own salt because some people don't want a lot of salt in their food. So, you know, you get flavor, not salt. Cooking at home is so much better for you uh, health-wise. And you know what you're getting. Um, I understand people go out to eat, and I do every so often, but, you know, I like to cook, and, uh, you know, it saves money, especially for you newlyweds and you people that are on a budget. Cook at home. It's much better. So as you can see, I sprinkled the oregano, the, oregano, the thyme, the pepper on top, and I'm talking all together when you rub the meat, you know, or sprinkle it with it, there was probably a teaspoon of oregano both times, you know, and a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme, not even, and just a sprinkle of pepper, ground pepper. I just ground it out of a grinder. All right, so we're going to let this cook. I'm going to put the cover on, on a medium low, and that's probably going to take about seven minutes. And then we'll add our beef and the beef stock. So I put the heat up to a medium high now. Okay, this is how you want your vegetables. They're just slightly cooked. I'm going to put three cups of the beef broth. Or if you don't have beef broth, use um, beef bunion cubes. Okay, so you see this? Okay, we're going to have, we're going to put the cover on, we're going to get this to a boil before we put our short cut beef ribs in, and then we're going to put them in the oven at 350 um, for about, I'd say, a good hour and a half or till the meat is falling off the bone. Well, you can tell it's definitely boiling. Let's take that cover off. Oh, yeah. It boiled. I just shut off the heat. I'm stirring. All right, and now we're going to take the beef ribs, and we're going to put it in the pot. Okay, and then once they're all in the pot, I am going to put them, I'm going to put a bay leaf in, and I'm going to put the cover on and put it in a 350 degree oven anywhere between an hour to two hours. We'll just see how long it takes. So while the short rib, beef short ribs were cooking, I decided to make rice. So let me show you the rice. I did two cups of um, rice before it was cooked. And this is how much it made. So that's plenty of rice. 
Now what we're going to do, it's been cooking for two hours, so I'm going to take out the, uh, I'm going to open up the oven, and I'm going to take my Dutch oven out. I don't know if you can see my Dutch oven. It was in there for two hours at 350. So let me pull it out, and then I'll show you what's inside. So I'm going to be careful when I open this because it's been in the oven for two hours and there might be a lot of steam. Oh yeah, can you see that steam? Wow. Let me show you what this looks like. And we're going to take out, I'm going to take out a rib and see what happens. Wow, that looks really good. Let's see what we have. So yeah, this meat will come right off the bone. Just with that fork, it's gonna come right off the bone. So what I'm gonna do is take all the meat off, gonna put it back in with the, the um, carrots, onions, and garlic. And before I do that, I'm gonna skim off the fat um, from the juice once we get all the ribs out. Okay, so all the ribs are out of the Dutch oven, okay, the beef short ribs. Also, I took the bay leaf out, and this is what inside of the pot looks like. So all I have to do is wait until the grease comes to the top, skim it off, then I can uh, add all the beef once I debone it. And one of the bones, look at this, I went in the pot, and the bone, that's... The meat was already off it. So my youngest daughter um, gave me this bottle of wine, uh, I believe for my birthday or for cooking. So I'm going to use this wine, um, probably a quarter of a cup, uh, when we heat up the liquid that's in the onions and the garlic and the carrots for the, the short rib. Um, so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna pour some in. So that was quite an experience to open this bottle of wine. So the little slats weren't like um, undone a little bit. So I had to use this knife, okay? And then I tried using this and I finally ripped the, the thing off. And thank God I have this cork stopper you know like you just push it in you can store it in the fridge like that so now we're gonna come over to here okay so I put this on a medium high I'm gonna add just a little bit of this wine I think that's enough I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna this is all the beef we got um, off those short ribs which is probably I'd say a good pound and a half and that was the fat that we skimmed off the top of the vegetables that's what I could get off so <clears throat> let me get the wine to a boil then we'll put the beef in well we probably can put the beef in now it wouldn't hurt it so let's get that beef in get it all in and uh, we'll come back once it's boiling all right oh it smells so good and then once this is boiling we'll just put a lid on it put it on low just to keep it warm and when my husband comes home we'll have a little rice and we'll put this over it and we'll see what he says Hi. Okay, so that beef short ribs is all finally done. And we're going to put it in the bowl. And we've got some rice here, just white rice. Um, before I dish it out for my husband, I just want to read a scripture verse. Proverbs 25, 11, and 12. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pitchers of silver. As an earring of gold 
and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover unto an obedient ear. So that's the scripture of the day. And now I will just take a spoon and I will start dishing this up. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to put it all over the rice and I'm going to fill some up in the hole of the rice and we got to make sure we put those nice juices with all the flavors that we put in there. So let's get some nice, some nice juice. We have some garlic, onions, we have some carrots, we have spices, which is your oregano and a little pepper. So here it is and we'll give it to my husband and see what he says. So honey, how did you like that new recipe with the short ribs. Very good. He said it was very good. So until next time, this is Paula. Have a wonderful day.